Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 and 8 of Gummy- <laughs> Of Omigami SS. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. And last time we saw... Kaoru. Who is that man? Tropical diet soda. <laughs> <laughs> Belly button looking freak. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I, I learned that last week. Yeah. A belly button can be a pleasurable part. I don't know how still, but whatever floats your boat because, girl, no. But like, here, to my future boyfriend, also future husband, you know, because you both could be watching. Um, yeah, no, not there. <laughs> I shouldn't be cold, but my hand is cold. <laughs> She at home. Mm -mm, not because of the kiss. It's because of what else she saw later on. Oh my god! No, no, Tachibana, it's not your fault. Well, she saw her mom with a man. Yeah, but the thing is, we we knew, or, you know, he knew that the last time she had to go to work, but he doesn't know anything of what happened after. You okay? Oh, 
how do You gotta talk to her and you gotta talk to her fast. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just gotta chill. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. She, mm, I mean, obviously, because when she woke up, she was still in one regular clothes. And it, whatever she, wherever she was, background wise, it wasn't at home. I read about that. You think she's gonna be at the convenience? Oh. Oh, meet the puppy. The puppy gonna comfort her. Oh, it's the two boys. Oh. Hold on. No. You just missed her. Now it's kind of going to take the puppy home. Take the dog home. Uh-uh. <laughs> right? But no, that didn't happen.
That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's some good ass boys. Because you like her. Did she take the dog? She took the dog. Good job. Good job, Caldam. Best girl in my book. As much as I liked Morty. Best girl. You you can't beat a dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, and speaking of money. Just go inside, damn it. <laughs> mm. You're going to wait in the cold. <sighs> I mean, I thought you would have just said, hey, come inside and just sit and I'll give you free coffee. Yes, something did happen. Let, let her tell you when she's ready. Damn. Don't want to talk about it. I get that.
Okay, but how do she she wants love? And, and don't you want love for her too? I mean, I get it. Once again, the wanting all to yourself. You don't even have to refer to him as dad, baby. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just need to do that. He's right. Yes, you can. You don't have to be strong all the time, Kaudu. Trust me. I know. Yep. Please. Of course. She really appreciates it. That was sweet. You like her. You like her. Yeah! 
Yeah, I, I think you fell for ever since last week. Once you once you did the kiss, that's it. That sealed the deal. So. Yep, still in my bath. Oh my god, are you okay? You could have right then and there asked her out. Right then and there. But I get it. I get it. I get it. We have to wait. Good things come to those who wait. But something tells me this next episode will be her last episode of her arc as well. And so we're going to get like a kind of almost like final thoughts on her as well. And then whoever is next, which I think it's the redhead girl with pigtails, I believe. Um... But I'm happy she was able to make up with her mom and she also apologized to her mom because I get that. I think, you know, most children of divorces, whether it has happened when you were a kid, when you were a teenager, or even as a grown-up, you always want your parents to stay together. And, you know, there's always, there there are some couples who can and some couples who can't. We talked about that. Um, but the best thing is for her, at least she has the memories of her family and they'll always be her family to her regardless of her mom remarrying or even like if her dad was in her life as well because we really don't know much about her father um even if her dad remarried and such um it would take a long time it would take a very while for her to get used to that but I think you know she has that power inside of her that she can definitely you know move on from it speaking of experience you know can't can't really say certain things because Like, okay, um, let's say you have a friend and your friend's parents divorced, but you're more close. They're more close to their mom than their dad, but they still care for their dad and everything. Um, and you find out that their dad, your dad got remarried and such. And you feel some type of way every single time when you call your dad and you hear the person's voice. And such um maybe to that person it will definitely take them a while to know that yes once again their parents are no longer together and such there's going to be a day where you're gonna have to meet uh their dad's um new significant other and such and they don't know if they're ready for that even after everything of 
that person has gone through with their father. Um, yeah, let's just say for an example on that and such. But I think Kaoru, Kaoru, Kaoru has got this. She's really got this. I mean, if this next episode is the last of her arc and we do get to see them so many years within the future, um, I think what we'll see is her mom and her mother's new husband, like obsessively older, and them hanging out with them and such, like visiting them. Maybe they had a kid, possibly. I'm not 100% sure about that. We just gotta wait and see. But hopefully it is a good ending for her. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 8. Alrighty, episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm sorry, that's so cheesy, but it's cute. <laughs> oh my god. No. Distracted. Right? You like him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something also tells me, um, maybe game-wise, because, okay, each girl gets about, how many, uh, like, Four episodes, right? No. Yeah, each girl is getting like four episodes. So they get their story told in like a beginning, middle, and end kind of thing, as we've seen. My my thing is, and I think I said this with Mori, there, it still feels like something is missing, but I'm guessing once again, it is mainly due to the fact is it can't be a one-to-one -one adaptation um, of the game. It's kind of like how... Um, I, I got a little, okay, rapid fire of examples. Um, Danganronpa, Persona 3, the anime, no, well, Persona 3 didn't have an animation. Persona 3, the movie. Persona 4, the animation. Per Persona 4, Golden, the animation. Or even um, Persona 5, the animation with uh, the OVAs entitled, which is still the whole series in a nutshell. Um, where they can't really show every little detail and such because that time crunch, obviously, but it, it's still, regardless, feels like something is missing every single, like, not every single time, because it's only, like, the second arc on the second girl, so, but it still feels like a little bit is missing. I'm not mad at that, per se. I get it. Damn, bruh. There is something on my bed. There it is. I hate when you clean glasses and then like the next working day they get like extremely dirty again. 
And these aren't even regular prescription glasses. This is just one of those glasses that, like, I, my eyes, if I look at my computer for a long ass time. But still, always dirty. Go dang. This is your time. the date that's so cute <laughs> Jesus. You're not going anywhere on Christmas, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Not the fancy underwear. <laughs> Tomorrow in Jacksonville, you'll see some sun and thunderstorms and can expect a high of 86 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 75 degrees. Thank also, you. There's a rip current statement in effect until Friday, June 21st, 5 a.m. Thank you. Thank God I ain't going to work on Friday. <laughs> That's cold. She's coming. She's coming.
It is her first date after all. Mm. Mm-hmm. Come on. No. <laughs> So in the end, are they all kind of really just going to the same? Okay, no, they're not all going to the same hotel. Okay. They're going somewhere that's almost like equally important to them. In an alternate universe, when he, since Tachibana isn't choosing Woody, her and he be here together regardless. I don't care what you tell me. <laughs> because I don't think Hibiki is a potential love interest for him. Yeah, come on! wearing pants. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay.
Oh. I like you too. Oh. <laughs> And he conquered his fear, too, in this episode. That's sweet. That's growth. I love that. All right, now show me them in the future. Now, where is she sleeping? But I've never seen your room. Well, I mean, you're a boy. Oh, having a girl in your room? <laughs> oh, no. On the phone. Did you bring a girl home? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> No, we're being serious. Right? It'll be fine. It's all close on Jesus. And besides, you know, we can cuddle. Really? Yeah, please don't have a heart on in front of her. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
the music. <laughs> no, she's actually sleeping this time. 25 years later. Oh, that's messed up. Okay. I, I liked it. Loved it overall. But damn, I was... I'm expecting each girl's chapter to have a point where they're older. We're seeing them, you know, as a couple together. So, so Mori's the only one who gets that, tri uh, that special tribute because is she... Okay, let me go ahead and ask this. And this is mainly for the person who requested this. Also, and for the person's... Anyone can comment on this as well. Is Mori technically the canon ship? Is she the canon root for the series as such? Like, is she the one regardless? Like, once I get into season two, is it mainly just going to be the love of her? Um, or is season two mainly still going to be the same thing, but we're seeing them more older? There's a lot of things that they really could do with this once again. But... Kaoru's story was really interesting. I love the fact that her conflict mainly was about her mom and seeing if she could just move on without not having just her mom and her together. And I get it because, you know, if whoever parent you're closest to, you always think that's going to be you and them together forever. But there's always going to be someone or something that is going to tear you apart. I think she just really learned the value of keeping memories close to your heart um and i'm glad hey we got an arc where it was falling in love with your best friend and like i said the falling in love with your best friend is really the most genuine ones i do love those loves a lot <laughs> That's so cute. But no, dead ass. Like, I, I really, I always love friendship love. I think that is, like, the best. And, and then, of course, when the love is, like, the friendship love is also, like, the, the girl and the guy, like, literally the first time being in love and such. It's very genuine and sweet and very real. Like, first loves and first heartbreaks are, like, the, the sad, the happiest and saddest thing in, in a person's life and it doesn't matter if you are like a kid a teenager or even a full-grown adult as me and such who like I, I've been in love I would say I would, I've been in love like I'll say twice <laughs> that's it um yeah mm, yeah yeah, I'll say twice. I'll say twice. Yeah, because, like, the other one I was like... Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> but, um... 
it, it's sweet. I love those types of love. It's so, because, like, have I ever fallen for my best friend? Like, uh, one time. One time. Um, but me and him, we're, we're still cool. It's just we haven't talked to each other in, like, a very long time. He, he's in the military, and, and I'm here. Um, but I've also learned the thing about military men, so, uh, it's always gonna be a no for me, regardless. Um, but no, I thought this was genuinely sweet. Kaoru is such an adorable thing. I love her tomboy-esque, but I love how, so, with these last, with this last episode, really, um, we got to see her feminine side, and, you know, she has this moment of, like, oh my god, of... This is that and the third. And, and their, like, cute little date was just adorable, too. Because I was expecting, like, each date was going to go to that hotel um, and such, and they would have a moment. But each girl has something that is, like, near and dear important to them that, as a couple, they're going to go to. Now, the next girl, who is his little sister's friend, I wonder how that is going to go. Because one is an underclassman. She's shy. She's, like, a... She's like the Fluttershy of this show. <laughs> I, I cannot believe I did it my little phone ear reference. <laughs> That's crazy. But I mean, yeah, she is because she seems very shy and it does make you wonder how that is the dynamic is going to go. It's very almost, it could be, I'll, I'll say that for now. It's almost like, okay, you know, um, okay, I don't know how many people because it, even though it's 2024, um, I know most of y'all because I plan it too. You all play Persona 5 of Royal. Yes. We're talking about Samire. Not the spoilers, but the other stuff. Samire. That's it. The character. Uh, my, what? I would say she's like my second or third best girl. Um, but with a shy girl like her. Or even Haru, because Haru was a shy girl too. But look at her. And they grew and I love that. So that I feel like we're going to get feels to like both Haru and Samire in a nutshell when we get to this next girl. But she seems really cute. And I love the fact that we're going into with their love. It's a summer love. Meeting each other one day and during the summer. And then eventually it's slowly but surely falling in love. So wherever they went to in the summertime, we're going to see that in the winter. Honestly, dead ass excited. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes seven and eight of Omegami SS. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes nine and ten. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.